Hi guys and welcome back. It's no longer safe to assume that your neighbors understand that Christ is the creator of all things, including the family. Now, creation is one of two natural revelations that God has given mankind so that all are without excuse. The other is the conscience. Now, conscience just means with knowledge. And the disintegration of the family unit is perhaps one of the most harmful trends facing those that we love. Now, if you remember, the great commandment is to love God and to love your neighbor, which makes it very plain how Jesus thinks we should treat our neighbors. And this is so important that our personal family's mission statement is that we will live by God's enabling grace in this direction. We will live for God's glory. We will love our neighbors as ourselves, and we will make disciples that make disciples. Now, the desecration of the biblical family is directly tied to a lack of of fear of the Lord and his sovereign act of and over creation. And I know this because I regularly speak with high school and college students. And when the validity of evolution is discussed, students often come unglued like an Elmer's art project in a hot minivan. Self is their religion and they reign supreme as king. And if God is no longer the maker of the universe, then certainly the composition of the family is next on the chopping block. Hence, all of the alphabet debacle that we have going on right now. And this is why teaching that God is sovereign over little things like holding a Coke can together is so important. Stop and think about all of the scientific and chemical processes that go into something as ordinary to us as a Pepsi can or a Snickers bar. Holding those things together is infinitely complex and it matters because the breakdown of the family impacts all areas of our lives and of our communities. Not having both a loving father or mother often leads to physical abuse, drugs, alcohol, limited education, financial poverty, spiritual poverty, which is why our enemy Satan is so tenacious in his attempts to usurp God as a creator. Now, humanity will take anything but Christ as king and creator. And a very helpful ministry that you may consider getting resources from is called Answers in Genesis. They do a fantastic job providing evidential and presuppositional apologetics for the veracity of the gospel and the Bible. Veracity just means truthfulness. Now, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. And in Him was life, and the life was the light of men. Now, this is so important. It's fundamental to who we are as people. It talks about our identity, the understanding that Christ is the Creator not some ethereal detached God or natural cosmic explosion, is critical. Furthermore, in the center of this issue stands Darwinian evolution, which is nothing more than a humanistic, naturalistic, materialistic rescuing device. It's not true. It's a calamity of intellect. It's not an intellectual position. It's unwise to hold to this position because ultimately God is a God of reality. And in a local church, this is like mixing fire and polyester. They do not mix. Liberalism and squishy hermeneutical approaches do not work themselves out. They often only further the rate at which heresy is approached. Now, liberalism must be continually pushed in order that the boundaries still maintain liberal advances. So it must be avoided at all costs. And it doesn't take long to jump from theistic evolution to other concessions such as no literal Adam and Eve. And this problem can indicate a lack of discernment toward the Word of God, or worse, potentially a lack of regeneration. Did God really say is the oldest trick in the book and must be avoided? Now, it is my belief that the Bible is crystal clear that the earth was created roughly 6,000 years ago in six literal days. This means that the Bible teaches that man lived with dinosaurs and every other created animal for a time. Now explain that to a modern college student and be prepared for them to swallow their tongues. They think that is the height of insanity, but that is the truth of God's word. So thanks for watching. Hit the like button, leave a comment below, 